Hello, Capricorn. Hope you guys are well. I am about to do a reading. Our month is almost over. It is Aquarius season. I still want to say... I still want to say happy birthday to all my Capricorns. Yeah. Just in case I missed you. So, Spirit, what do we have for Cappies? So, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you for the support. My name is Narai, go by May. And we're going to see what comes out in the cards for Cappy. Star. That's healing. It's the main thing that stands out for me is healing. Taking a leap of faith with the full card. Messages and guides for Capricorn, please and thank you. All right, let's see what we have. Messages and guidance for Capricorn, please and thank you. Happiness, ultimate happiness, that inner warmth, joy, confidence, Cappies, sunshine, this is the truth. I think it's you guys being able to be brutally honest. This is success and vitality. Being positive. Messages and guidance for Capricorn. Messages and guidance for Capricorn. Oof. This is you guys, Cappies. This is either you or your toxic person, or maybe you are the toxic person. I don't know, because the cross watcher might be watching this. But um, we're going to see. So the devil card is a toxic person, toxic energy, somebody that could be uh, obsessing, somebody greedy, somebody envious, somebody that is has got uh, sexual desires for other people. This could be you working on your shadow self. This is somebody ma uh, materialistic. This could do with addictions. But I have the Ace of Swords. This is a breakthrough, mental clarity. Maybe you have mental clarity about a person that was toxic. Ace of Swords is also success or new ideas. Messages and guidance for Capricorn. Mm. So, okay. So I have the Five of Cups. This is somebody feeling abandoned and unloved and like a failure. I also have the Five of Pentacles. This is somebody feeling left out in the cold, like they had some sort of financial loss. It could be a lack of spirituality as well oh yep i have a knight of pentacles this is somebody slow moving and hard working somebody grounded but I have the nine of pentacles which is like you guys kind of being uh, self-sufficient being uh, financially depend independent this is you guys um, being successful being abundant knowing your self-worth I feel like your past person is feeling the negatives of the 
five of cups and the five of pentacles. It's not you. I think this could be your past person finally seeing that with you, they failed. They failed and now they're feeling unloved. And they have a, a lack mindset. This is one pentacle showing in this photo. You've got nine. It's like that person didn't have very much to offer. And you guys are luxurious right now. And I have the Empress card. This is you guys nurturing yourself. Um, this person knows that whatever you, whatever you set your mind to do, you can actually achieve. This is you guys birthing ideas. Creating things, being abundant. This person knows you're a nurturer. Because you're Mother Earth. It's almost like this person is seeing how great life could have been with you. Two of Wands. Two of Wands is making a decision. It's also future planning. It's choosing a path. This person could be deciding whether to come towards you or it could be you deciding what you're wanting to do, Capricorn. Also pull the Three of Wands. The Two of Wands is should I stay or should I go? This is waiting for your ships to come in knows it's also seeing the bigger picture it's seeing what else is out there it's you growing it's also notice this person is holding one of the wands it's also like you getting the support you need supporting yourself it's a milestone like you're waiting to see what else the universe has to offer you. Hell, maybe this person is waiting for their ships to sail in with you. Messages and guidance for Capricorn. Please and thank you. Messages and guidance for Capricorn, please and thank you. Oof. I need to put these down. This is a couple. This is a couple. This is the king and queen of swords. Queen of swords is independent and intelligent. Obviously she is honest because she says what she means and she means what she says. She has direct communication. She also sets very clear boundaries and she's logical. The king of swords is a person with mental clarity and intellectual power. He is honest as well. He is a, an authoritative person. Um, he is disciplined, has high standards, is able to make a head over heart decision as well as the queen of swords because she's logical as well. He's a man of integrity. He's serious and he is strict. This is a couple. I don't even know where that fits in here. But I f I'm feeling kind of like you're going to meet somebody and you guys are going to be kind of equally yoked. Here 
comes this past person. The Knight of Wands in reverse. Somebody arrogant and reckless, lacking self-control. Hot-tempered, domineering, oh, passive. I feel like this person's going to try to interfere in this relationship. It's like you're going to get involved with somebody and it's going to happen fast. With the chariot, this is my fast moving card. This is like the eight of wands for me. But with the chariot card, it's two, uh, two opposing forces working towards a goal. It's like the two of you. Because if you see these, and you see this is a white horse and a black horse, I feel like you're going to meet somebody that's your match and you're going to be surprised because it's going to happen fast. When you're in your Nine of Pentacles energy, in your, in your Empress energy as well, just nurturing yourself. you're working on your stability this is also the marriage card it's also the marriage card this is a reason to celebrate this is a reason to celebrate this is a coming together a reason to come together this is family and friends it's a homecoming and then what did I pull Capricorn the hermit card we are not surprised are we not on this channel messages and guidance for Capricorn why am I still shuffling messages and guidance for Capricorn yeah somebody's thinking they're getting away with something because they did something behind your back but you already knew this so that's neither here nor there this person might be trying to come towards you with strategy. You're not surprised about that either. <gasps> the lovers. You do end up meeting your person. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Stability. Marriage. This person's going to try to interfere. But you meet your match. You meet your person. Yin to your yang. Yin to your yang. Going through all these cycles together, the moon cycles, the things you guys go through bring you closer. This is a person that will honor you. This is a person that will balance you. This is divine love. A deep soul connection. This is romantic. I don't like your past person. Hopefully you don't like them either. I'm sure tarot readers shouldn't be giving their opinion, but I really don't care. I'm human. And there's a lot of tarot readers that don't give their opinion if you don't like it. So, yeah. But I'm loving this. This is the second reading in a row for you guys where I pull the lovers at the end. We're going to leave it there.
Yep. We're gonna leave it there. So Capricorn, yeah. Your past person is gonna try to interfere with what you got what your the with what is ahead for you in regards to a relationship. So just be mindful. This is not for you to get back with your past person. This is a warning to be aware. Because you're gonna meet somebody that's only gonna see you the way you only see them. And they're gonna honor you, unlike your past person. So please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.